Let's look at a classic C style function signature. Without documentation, you cannot know how to use this function. Like passing 500 could mean seconds in one library, but milliseconds in another. A mismatch here leads to runtime errors. If you pass 5, expecting seconds, but the library treats it as milliseconds, the interval is too short. If you do the reverse, the application hangs. This issue is known as unit ambiguity. Developers often clarify units by naming variables accordingly, like adding ms, as in milliseconds, to the variable name. This helps, but it doesn't prevent mistakes. In C++, we use strong types, so the compiler catches these errors for us. The std chrono library, introduced in C++11, was built to solve this by encoding the unit of time directly into the data type itself. You cannot accidentally pass seconds to a function expecting milliseconds anymore. The code simply will not compile. 